the U.S. Centennial of Flight Commission COFC, or COF Commission was created in 1999, by the U.S. Congress, to serve as a national and international source of information about activities commemorating the centennial of the Wright brothers' first powered flight on December 17, 1903 purportedly the first fully controlled, sustained, powered flight of a heavier-than-air man-carrying airplane. There were centennial commemorations and celebrations planned in 2003 to occur in both North Carolina, the Wright's 1903 powered flights took place on the sands at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and Dayton, Ohio, hometown of the Wright brothers. In addition, the Commission anticipated numerous historical and educational projects about aviation and aeronautics nationally and internationally, and sought to be a shaping force in those events. The Commission coordinated a national outreach campaign, Centennial of Flight, Born of Dreams, inspired by freedom. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Wright brothers' first powered flight and the century of accomplishments that followed, the Commission also advised the President, Congress, and federal agencies on the most effective ways to encourage and promote national and international participation in the commemoration. The COFC also undertook additional efforts to support centennial commemorations and celebrations, and related educational and cultural programs, through its alliance with Centennial partners, who were planning everything from cross country tours to air shows and exhibitions, seminars, and television specials. It also sponsored a large educational centennial website. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Authorization and mission. In 1998, the United States Congress passed the Centennial of Flight Commemoration Act, Public Law 105 to 389, 105th Congress, November 13, 1998, as amended by Public Law 106 to 68, 106th Congress, October 6, 1999. Regulations for the commission were incorporated into the Code of Federal Regulations as 67 FR 758 U S Centennial of Flight Commission. The Commission had limited authority and resources, and was chiefly charged by Congress to play the leading role in coordinating and publicizing activities celebrating the achievements of Wilbur and Orville Wright and commemorate a century of powered flight. The Commission's primary responsibilities were to generate publicity for the celebration to encourage individuals and organizations across the country to conduct commemorative activities to give advice and recommendations to individuals and organizations conducting commemorative activities to maintain a website and a national calendar of events to send representatives to international meetings to maintain a speakers bureau to supervise staff operations to sponsor meetings Topic. Funding From FY1999 through FY2001, the Commission was funded through specific line items in the Federal Aviation Administration Operations Appropriations. In subsequent years, the Commission was funded through general agency appropriations. The Centennial of Flight Commission, are provided with the authority to accept only non-monetary donations. In that instance, the statutory language stated Donations The Commission may accept donations of personal services and historic materials relating to the implementation of its responsibilities under the provisions of this Act. Members and participants The Commission consisted of representatives of public and private American organizations, including Commission Chair, General John R. Daly, Director. Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum Marion Blakey, Administrator, Federal Aviation Administration FAA. Sean O'Keefe, Administrator, National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA. Richard T. Howard, President, First Flight Centennial Foundation 
Tom Paberesny, President and CEO, EAA Aviation Foundation, affiliate of the Experimental Aircraft Association EAA. J. Bradford Tilson, Chair, Inventing Flight The affiliated First Flight Centennial Federal Advisory Board was made up of various aviation dignitaries and public figures appointed by the President or the Congress, or designated by statute. COFC later added numerous affiliates, including the First Flight Centennial Commission of North Carolina FFCC, to focus on centennial events in North Carolina The Oklahoma Centennial of Flight Commission, O of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma to promote aviation activities throughout the state, establish and promote educational activities relating to Oklahoma's aviation history, and celebrate a century of aviation. Crown Agent Stamp Bureau, of Surrey, England to create a collection of official postage stamps featuring civilian and military aircraft of the last 100 years. The Space Day Foundation, for space-related education and academic motivation, particularly through Space Day, SM, a large, grassroots educational initiative, reportedly reaching thousands of teachers and millions of students in the United States, Canada and beyond. The 2003 Space Day theme was, Space Day 2003 SM, celebrating the future of flight. To complement the efforts of COFC to encourage enthusiasm for flight and innovation among young people. The Challenger Center which uses space as a theme to excite, inspire, and encourage students in the study of mathematics and science, and the application of technology. Cox Alliance was to have the Challenger Center, via Space Day 2003 SM, challenge students, in grades 4 through 8, to design and build models of aircraft using the ingenuity and creativity of the Wrights as inspiration. The Aviation Foundation of America, Inc., to sponsor the recreation of the National Air Tours of the 1920s and 1930s, with dozens of vintage aircraft to fly the 1932 National Air Tour route that had been planned, but was never flown, around the U.S. heartland. The Chicago Centennial of Flight Commission CCFC, organized by a group of aviation industry organizations from the Chicago area, and the Great Lakes region, to promote aviation awareness using public exhibits. It planned centennial activities including a model airplane exhibit, at Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry, in 2003, from May to September, titled, Chicago Centennial of Flight, 100 History Making Aircraft, plus, events and symposia throughout 2003, with hopes of also producing programs promoting aviation education for elementary and secondary school students. Topic. Programs and events In addition to the programs and events noted in the hashtag members and participants section, the COFC was involved with numerous other activities. The National Centennial of Flight Kickoff event, was held December 17, 2002, a year before the 100th anniversary of the Wright Flight, at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum, in Washington, D.C. It included a presidential proclamation and the recognition of numerous aviation and aerospace pioneers, with presentations from Chairman Daly, actor, aviator John Travolta, FAA Administrator Marion Blakey, and NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe. On the same day, in North Carolina, a commemoration was held near Kitty Hawk, a day-long anniversary tribute at the site of the Wright's first flight, the Wright Brothers National Memorial, at Kill Devil Hills. Speakers included North Carolina Governor Michael F. Easley and U.S. Air Force General Ralph E. Eberhardt, Commander of North American Aerospace Defense Command and U.S. Northern Command. Numerous other commemoration events, and related projects, were urged, planned or supported throughout the nation, throughout the centennial year. December 17, 2002 to December 17, 2003, particularly in Ohio and North Carolina, the principal, and grand finale, first flight centennial celebration was held December 12-17, 2003, at the Wright Brothers National Memorial at the approximate site of their first powered flight at Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. 
President George W. Bush was present, and numerous military and civilian aircraft performed. The event was marred by foul weather, and failed attempts to fly a replica of the 1903 Wright Flyer. Development of the event reportedly had been hindered by interagency difficulty and conflict, and mismanagement, including North Carolina's FFCC. <laughs> <laughs> Website One of the Centennial of Flight Commission's principal efforts was the development of the organization's Centennial of Flight website a 17,000 page online encyclopedia of aviation history, chiefly U.S. aviation history, with hundreds of articles and thousands of illustrations. The Commission claimed the website provided the most up to date information on celebration activity, as well as the most comprehensive collection of outstanding educational essays, multimedia, and links regarding the history of flight. The site's development and operation consumed about $4 million, of mostly federal funds, but became very popular during the centennial year, peaking at over 4 million visitors per month by December 2003, the 100th anniversary month. The site was maintained at the Internet domain centennialoflight.gov by NASA. Following the closing of the COFC in April 2004, responsibility for the site transferred to the NASA History Office, who maintained the site online, basically unchanged, until budget cutbacks and server computer problems motivated its abandonment by NASA in September 2012. Various parties salvaged parts of the site, including the American Aviation Historical Society AAHS, who acquired copies of the computer code for the site from NASA. In 2013, a member of AAHS donated the domain name centennialoflight.net AAHS, to accommodate an archive—maintained by AAHS—of the original official Centennial of Flight website. AAHS made structural «cleanups» to the site removing broken links and obsolete calendar data, and initiating other edits, highlighted with dark red lettering. Topic. Termination The Commission closed in 2004, following the end of its scheduled functions. As part of the Commission's charter, there were provisions for certain material to be preserved, particularly the large website, which was assigned to the NASA History Office. Topic. External links Centennial of Flight website, as archived by the American Aviation Historical Society. Audit of the Centennial of Flight Commission for fiscal year 2003 and though May 19, 2004, GAO 04599R, published, June 18, 2004. Publicly released, June 18, 2004, U.S. Government Accountability Office, GAO. U.S. Centennial of Flight Commission on the C-SPAN networks. Two videos in the C-SPAN video library. First Flight Centennial Ceremony, December 17, 2003 Centennial of Flight A Ceremony December 17, 2002 Centennial of Flight, National Archives Search Results National Archives and Records Administration, Washington, D.C.